What's up internet? Today I've got a brand new tutorial for you. Today we're going to be looking at how to cut out an image using CorelDRAW's Cutout Lab. So let's go. A4 page and Control V. Here's my image I'd like to cut out. It's a bright red post box. And first of all, you'll need to make sure your image is a bitmap. Luckily this is to start with, but if it isn't, just select your image, go up here to bitmaps and convert to bitmap and 300 dots per inch should be enough for pretty much all images and click OK. Once you've done that you should see up here appears a new bar with some things on it. What you want to click is edit bitmap. This might take a few seconds to load. What it's doing is opening up photo paint, Coral Draw photo paint and from there you can edit and cut out the image. So we'll give it a second. Okay, so here it is. Let's make this full screen. And here you can see in Condor Photo Paint is our image of a post box. Now we need to go up here to image and then cut out lab. So convert to bitmap, edit bitmap, image, cut out lab fairly easy. You click on that and it brings you to this uh, this here and this is where we'll be cutting out our image. So st to start off you see I've got a brush in my hand and up here are your settings for this brush. So you've got nib size you can drag up and down, you've got the highlighted color and the fill color and if you want to change the size just press shift and hold left click and drag in and out to change the size, fairly self-explanatory. So, to start off, you left click on your image and you can see this yellow sort of highlighter appears. If you just keep holding down left click and drag it around your image, you can let go at sort of points, you know, it doesn't matter, but just try and go around the image you want to cut out. You don't have to be too neat or even with this. The closer you are, the better. So, there we go. So now I've gone around my image, I want to fill it. When you start clicking, as you can see up here, a fill bucket appears. Now with that, you can, if you press F, that also brings it up, you left click in the gap in the middle, and it will fill it in. Also, if you're not pleased with anything you've done, you can select this here, which is the rubber, the eraser, and go around your image like that. It will unfill it for you because it realizes you've not finished so you can be a little bit neater. Also to get the uh, eraser you can when you're drawing like this you can right click and it will rub it out for you. It's also a nice little thing to be able to do but we, we don't really need that so we're going to fill bucket fill. We filled it in. You don't need to worry about these but what we want to do now is press preview here. Not OK cancel help preview. See it loading down the bottom. This is creating a layer mask. Look at that. So it's got rid of most of the background but as you can see it's really really unneat and it looks pretty bad. So what you need to do is go up here and you see these two buttons have stopped being grey and now in colour. This is add detail tool and remove detail tool. You click that, you'll get a brush, and if you scroll wheel in to a gap like here, you can see it's uh, sort of it's missing the actual post box bit. So if I left click and drag up and down, it will paint in the bit that's missing from the image. So it hasn't taken it away; it's just put a mask over the top and removed as much of the background as it thinks needs to be removed. Now I can go around and fill in all of this, but it's not just bits missing in the gaps, there are bits of background still in the still in the image. So for things like this, you can go up here to this one, the remove, and click and drag and get rid of it. Or you can use the detail tool and you can right click and it will remove it for you. So if I right click this, I can remove this. If I right click all this stuff up here and get rid of it. As usual I can press shift 
and left click to make it bigger or smaller. If you're doing sort of really fine detail, you can make it really small, fill in the gaps and then right click to get rid of the inside. And that's pretty much it for the cutout lab. So I'm going to completely cut out this image and I'll get back to you when it's done. And so here we are. And I think it's not too bad. So when you've got to this stage and you're thinking, well, that's pretty much done, you want to click OK down here. And it'll take you back to your photo paint uh, sort of workspace with your bitmap and it gives you this cutout image. What you need to do then is press the save button up here. This will save it to your normal Corel Draw page, like so. So now if I minimize this, look, I'm back to my Corel Draw page and here is my post box fully cut out using the cutout lab. Pretty simple and easy and I think it's one of the best ways of removing an image from its background. So thank you for watching everybody, uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you thought it was helpful and useful. Uh, leave a comment if you've got any more tutorials you'd like me to make and see ya!